We've been peg hunting for the new Hot Wheels Tony Hawk fingerboard line. So far we've seen the aquarium skate park and the donut skate park. I even found the first wave with a fingerboard car and the shoes together, but I haven't found the individual boards yet. Well, boards with the shoes. I'd really like to find those and do a comparison with Tech Deck. So here's the first time I've been to Walmart lately and I found some new Hot Wheels skate product. This is the Tricked Out Pack. You get four fingerboards and two pair of shoes and these ones are all Tony Hawk themed so not Hot Wheels art themed. And here on the back it shows the playset that we haven't seen yet, the amusement park. And here we are a few days later at another Walmart and this is the first time I'm seeing these packs with the fingerboard and the shoes for $2.97. So these are the ones that don't include a car. But look, right here on the front, it's the treasure hunt. And there's no debate, it's not just the Circle Flame logo, it actually says treasure hunt. So here on the back, it shows all eight boards that come in this wave, plus that ninth one, I think, being the treasure hunt. So here we have challenge accepted, so this one's Hot Wheels themed. And on the back, it shows that Hawk Strike board with the treasure hunt logo. So we've got the Bone Skater. Next up is the Hot Wheels Skate Champ. Then we have Skull Grind. This is Chirping Trickster. So this one we've already seen behind it is Talon Shred. This is Skull Ride. And here's Wing Storm. This is the last one. We've seen them all. A couple days later at another Walmart, it looks like they also got their shipment of the first wave, but no treasure hunt there. But I did see something new. So we have the Donut Skate Park and the Aquarium Skate Park. But here it is. The daddy of them all, this is the big one. The amusement park skate set. Actually, it's only $30, so that's not too bad. I feel like these play sets are priced really well, for me personally anyway. I think I'm gonna pick this up so I'll have all three and I can open them at home. And uh, maybe I'll film it and we'll make a little review video. And you know what, I'm not a finger boarder, but it'll be fun to try it out and you can see how a novice does. Down here at Walmart, Pennsylvania, come get you some some tech deck are some of the best. You never find, all right? <laughs> Come on, JP. You can cuss in a couple of shoes. Hot Wheel <laughs> Tech Decks. I wouldn't it's recommend. The it's the best out. Hot Wheel Tech Decks. This Dex. is a generation changing to the market. Hot Wheels and Tech Deck collaboration <laughs> with shoes. This is revolutionary, people. But what do you really feel, though? I love them. I love them. You really like the Hot Wheels? Yeah, I love them. I mean, Aren't they're tech not deck, dumb, like, but like, they can Tech Deck. Yeah. But the Tech Deck ones are just Tech Deck. Like, that's what you can do. Yeah. You like the brands better because you get to have like real skateboard brands with the tech deck. I, I like this one better because you, you come with shoes. Yeah, the shoes are cool. We have a whole bunch of shoes. We have Dior's and all these like Jordans. Do you guys like that you have to build them? Like if you buy yeah, a I tech like deck, them. That's, cool. that's nah, cool. No, it's too hard. Too hard. Cool guys. Later at Target, I'm checking out the tech deck and I'm noticing on the back, it lets you know which ones are ultra rare. And right here, I have the platinum one, right on the front peg. So I wonder if not too many people actually are looking for these in my area. Also that red dot denotes ultra rare and th th there it is, wow. So both of the ultra rares are just right here in the front. Hmm, I wonder if these have a lot of resale value. Probably not because I feel like scalpers will be buying them and I wouldn't be finding them on the pegs if they did. Wait, another one? Wow. I wonder if this is one of those unlicensed Charlie Brown type boards. It seems like it's a thing in skateboarding apparently to have practically copyright infringement with a logo from a famous company and then, you know, see if they do a cease and desist or not, or if they can manage to change the art just enough that they can skirt uh, through legally. Another thing that makes Tech Deck different than the Hot Wheels Skate is they have like a pro version. So actually they're calling it performance but it's a single board that's $14. So it's made out of real wood, foam grip tape, and rubber grippy wheels. So here we've got some of the play sets, the Mega Half Pipe. This definitely looks more adult or like maybe teenager oriented because these are much more realistic. The Hot Wheels skate ones were very animated and they have like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vibe to me. So here Steve checked out his Walmart and he found these huge dump bins of the Hot Wheels skate fingerboards. 
It looks like these are all the wave ones. So these are the ones that we've already found. But hey, he's got one of the treasure hunt ones. Yep, there's the logo and it actually says treasure hunt. And I, actually he found two. Wow. On another trip to Walmart, I found one more of the packs with a car that I don't have. I think this one would come with the bone shaker. So I might have missed the bone shaker, but I will have to keep an eye out. Also, it appears that the fingerboards without the cars, that the new waves are hitting because I'm seeing them on eBay. And there are some treasure hunts there that look pretty cool. So I will be keeping my eyes peeled. Thanks for watching Common Collected, and we'll see you in the next video.